Hello and welcome to this quick ClinicAid video presentation. My name is Jordan Visco. In this video I'm going to be covering how to use the new code association features that were just set live in your ClinicAid account. Uh, there are two different types of code associations that were launched. So the first type is called trigger groups and that's going to allow you to add multiple codes easily by just selecting one code when you're creating an invoice. So you create, one in, uh, you create an invoice with one code and it automatically adds a second code to that bill. Um, the second one is going to be age-based code groups. Now this is only going to be available to our BC users at the moment and it's basically the ability uh, to select a group of codes and have the one that is correct for that patient demographic uh, be added to the bill. Uh, and that's because in BC there's a lot of age-based codes and you select a code based on the age of the patient. So this allows you to select a group of codes and it chooses the one that's, the right, uh, that's for the right age of the patient. So uh, we're going to start off here with the first one, and that's uh, trigger groups. Um, so these trigger groups, these are great for things like tray fees or any time when you always bill a second code along with a first code. Um, we do have in our system, as you may know from our previous videos in the preferences section, we do have default invoices, um, which allow you to select multiple codes with um, a little drop down. Um, so when I go to my create invoice page here, I can select a uh, uh, default invoice here um, and so if I select this test one it automatically adds these two codes to the bills and it, these default invoices actually allow you to select uh, not just codes but any information so any of the advanced information on a bill as well. So we do have that but that's different than trigger groups. What trigger groups are is um, if I delete these from this invoice it's the ability to add a code and then also have another code applied as you're doing it and that allows to make sure that you never forget things. So uh, for instance here I'm going to use say that we were to add a code uh, 14560 uh, which is for a PAP and uh, you know, we'll add a diagnostic I'm just going to add a fake one there and I add that code to my bill and every time I do that I want to also add a tray fee so I'm going to 00044 add that as well and it's going to have the same diagnostic code on the same date of service and I'm going to click add so instead of having to do that it's just going to add that automatically every single time so it's a little bit different than default invoices where you have to select the invoice from this drop down here and just make sure that every time you bill a 14560 you never forget to add a 00044 so I'll show you how to set that up. Um, again, these are this is a BC Oscar instance, so I'm using BC codes, but this will work in any um, in any province. So we're going to head on down to preferences, and we're going to go into service codes. And on the right hand side now, you'll notice this new section for service code trigger groups. Set codes to automatically be billed when another code is billed. And so I'm going to create a new code association trigger, and I'm going to call this one PAP. I'm just going to create that group and then I'm going to edit the codes within that group. And in this group I want first of all my 14560. So I'm going to select that one and I also want whenever I select that PAP I want to have a 00044 always be added on. And so I'm going to select that as well. So now I have these two codes in my group and now I need to select which one is going to be the trigger. So when I select a 0 Four, four, do I want that to trigger a 14560? Probably not. But whenever I do a 14560, I want that to always trigger this one. So this is going to be my trigger for this particular group. And if you have a um, if you have a, a trigger group that has lots and lots of codes in it, you can have uh, you know you can have as many codes in a trigger group as you'd like. You can have multiple codes within that group um, trigger the entire group. So I'm going to set this one to the trigger and then just click save. And that's it. So now I have this um, this trigger group and if I go back to my create invoice page and I type in my 14560 and I give it a diagnostic and I choose, oh maybe this was done a couple days ago, and I click add, bam right there you can see it added the one line, line item but it also added a tray fee and again it used the exact same diagnostic code on the exact same data service and then I can just uh, you know if I had a patient entered I could just go and click save and uh, and both of those codes would be billed at once so you can see how it can save you time and just uh, kind of reduce billing errors or missed opportunities for billing so um, that's trigger code groups the next um, was the age-based code groups and again this is only available to our BC users and um, on the right 
hand side, um, so we have search results here, and on the right hand side we have our favorites. Um, and you can see here I have multiple different favorites groups. Um, this works really well in most provinces. To date it hasn't worked extremely well in BC because there's a number of different age-based code groups um, for things like in-office visits. Um, I actually have a list of all the different things here. We'll pull it up. Uh, right there. So uh, for in-office visits, you know, there's a different code for age 2 to 49, so that would be a 00100, whereas if the patient is age 0 to 1, you want to do a 12100. Um, in other provinces, um, the one code works for all ages. Uh, they just pay out different prices, but in British Columbia, um, you actually have to submit a different code. So we'll show you how it works to set up these age-based code groups. I'm going to head down to Preferences. And again, we're going to go to service codes. And I'm going to edit one of my service code favorite groups. And you can see I have a lot of different favorite groups here. But the one I'm going to go to is general. And I'm just going to click edit. And I can see all the different codes that I have in my general code group. And I'm going to click edit again. And um, I'm going to do the one for just regular visit in office. So when I type in visit in office, I get all the service codes that have visit in office in them. And you can see them all here, age 50 to 59, age 60 to 69, age 0 to 1. Uh, but I don't want to just have one of these. I want all of them to be in a one group on my favorites list. And so we have this new feature here, associated service code groups. And uh, just for a general visit in office, uh, I want to add the age-based code group for that. So I'm going to click on it and you can see it's going to add into my list here and then I'm going to click save and then we'll go back and we'll head back up to the create invoice page and I'll show you how this looks now so on my default favorite set which uh, favorite code favorites which is this general group I now have a new age based favorite code and uh, when I select it it's going to select the right visit in office code for the age of the patient that I have selected on my bill. Now if I click it right now, um, it's not going to enter anything and you'll see I'll get a little error here and it says patient age is blank so it can't add it until you've actually added your patient. So I'll go ahead and just add in a patient here, John Doe, and then I'm going to select visit in office and you can see here the age of the patient is 34 so it's adding the visit in office for the ages between 2 to 49 so it's the 00100 and then I can just go and click save oh actually I have to add a diagnostic and then I can click save and uh, sorry add and then save and I'm done So again, this works for many of the age-based code groups that exist in BC. And if you want to know specifically what those ones are, you can just type in uh, some of the age-specific codes. So uh, for instance, if I type in um, 2 to 49 in my code box here, you can see all the different ones that have 2 to 49. And so there's consult codes and counseling codes and um, nurse practitioner uh, visit codes that all have these code groups and if I go to my preferences and into service codes and into general here I can search for those code groups so uh, if I go to, to 49 again it's going to show me all the codes and I can notice here that one is consultation out of office so if I search for consultation out of office there you go um, you can see there's an age-based code group for that and I'll select that code group and click Save. And again, if I go back to my schedule, oh, sorry, if I go back to my Create Invoice page and uh, select a patient, and then I can select my age based code group for consultation out of office, and it'll put in the 13210, uh, which is the one for, again, a patient aged 34, which is. 2 to 49. So there you go. In conclusion, uh, these are some very cool f features that'll help you save time uh, on your billing, and time is money, and uh, I hope that you'll enjoy using these new features uh, with ClinicAid. If you have any questions or uh, need any support, always uh, contact us through the contact information on our website, uh, support at clinicaid.ca, uh, or call our toll-free line. Thanks a lot.